everybody, welcome back to Quick and Tasty on the Farm. I'm Vicki and today I am making something that's delicious again. I actually got to go to a fireworks barbecue last night to celebrate Independence Day here in America and a good friend named Shanna brought this recipe and we all loved it, but especially Alan. Alan really, really liked it and today's his birthday. So I'm gonna make that special treat for him today and share it with you. So this recipe is a dessert recipe. It's a trifle. I have a beautiful trifle bowl here that I've had for years. We love trifles. They are a quick and tasty dessert that go together so fast. Shanna actually called it a patriotic berry trifle because it has strawberries in it and blueberries and white cream, so it looks red, white, and blue. I'm gonna call it a birthday trifle because I'm making it for Alan's birthday. Let me tell you what's in it. We have, of course, strawberries and blueberries, lemon juice, sugar, cream, real whipping cream, Philadelphia cream cheese or whatever kind of cream cheese, and angel food cake. And here's a little tip for you. If you buy or have the cake pre-made, super, super, super fast to throw together. Let's get started. So I've actually never made this trifle recipe, so I'm excited to try it, making it for the very first time and see how simple it goes together. I'm gonna need one fourth cup sugar, one fourth cup lemon juice, and one fourth cup water. I'm gonna mix that all up together And I'm gonna bring it over medium heat on the stove just until all that sugar is mixed well and dissolved. This shouldn't take long at all to dissolve that sugar. So come here, Casey. You can actually see that it's not as grainy anymore. Do you see how that sugar has dissolved in there? Yeah. That is just what we want. So I'm gonna give it a couple more stirs and then we'll show you the next step. We're just gonna set this aside for a little bit, just right there, and we'll come back to that mixture in a few minutes. So I'm gonna add in eight ounces of cream cheese and two thirds cup of sugar. I'm gonna cover this and I'm gonna blend it and get it nice and creamy just on medium speed. Mixed up really simple and quick because that cream cheese was so soft. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna add that two cups of whipping cream straight into the blender. My whipping cream was actually room temperature. And to be honest, I'm not even sure why they wanted it at room temperature. Tell me if you guys know, why would the whipping cream need to be at room temperature? Look at this, you guys. Look how thick and creamy. Doesn't that look delicious? Mm, I wish I could just lick it, but I won't. I'm trying to be a little healthier, and sometimes it's hard when we're cooking these good foods. I'm going to scrape that off right there. Okay, we have all the parts ready. We're going to throw our trifles together. I actually almost forgot. I washed my strawberries, but I need to slice them to have everything prepped. So I'm just gonna slice them up. You know what, you can do it whatever way you want. I'm just gonna get them all sliced and totally ready for this dessert. Okay, I pretty much got all these strawberries cut. I'm gonna just Place them right back in this bowl. Again, there I go, making a mess in my kitchen again. 
Made me feel good though when you guys all commented that you make messes in yours as well. I think it's just fine. Okay, I've got my strawberries ready, my angel food cake, my blueberries, my special syrup that I'll show you in just a minute, and my cream all ready to go in my trifle bowl. It's gonna mix up so quick and it's definitely gonna be tasty. Even the aromas right now, I always wish that you guys could smell what I smell through the video because it smells so good. I've cut the cake in about a one inch slice. And you know what, it doesn't matter how big, how small, but about one inch slice. And I'm actually gonna dip in this and you're just gonna sprinkle that sauce right on the top, just like that. And then I'm just gonna layer it in the bottom of my trifle bowl. Just like that. You can see there's no, no right or wrong here. It's just getting it in the bowl. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot something super important in this. I'm just gonna use a little almond flavoring, just like that. Dump it in, mm, smells so good. And let's mix that up really good. That was an easy fix to an almost mistake. Okay, so I have the first layer down, you can see. What we're gonna do next is, let's just put a few strawberries on that layer. Just throw them in. I like to put some things when I make trifles right along the edge so it adds color, just like that. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna just plop, is plop a word I can use? Down some of this yummy cream mixture right on top. I'm gonna kind of smooth it around. There you go, take a look at that. And you can see the trifles starting to come together on the side. It's just looking pretty in the bowl. Okay, let's add some more cake. Okay, this next layer, we are going to do blueberries. I'm just gonna sprinkle those blueberries right over the top. Okay, there you go. Next, let's just put some of the cream right there on top. Mm. Do the cake one more time. So on this layer, I'm actually gonna go ahead and use strawberries and blueberries. And then I'm gonna use the remaining cream right on top. You guys can tell by what's in this recipe that it's going to be very tasty. There is nothing not to love about cream and cream cheese and sugar and cake and berries. Mm. I'm a mess. I'm going to clean up and then I'm going to show you the finished product. What do you guys think? Isn't that beautiful? and it smells so delicious. Alan's gonna be so excited when he comes home from work and sees that this is his birthday cake, that I made what he fell in love with last night at the barbecue. So thanks, Shanna, for the recipe. You're awesome. I love getting recipes from friends, so thank you so much. All it needs is a few candles and some friends to sing him happy birthday, and we will try it, but right now, we're gonna go out on the farm for a little bit. I'm gonna take you out. We actually got some rain today and 
like a significant amount of rain. It really rained on the farm. We are so thankful. It's beautiful. Our cute little puppy dogs keep getting muddy. They are filthy, filthy muddy, but it's been so, so fun to have rain. So we'll do that. I, I'm hoping Alan gets home and he'll join us out on the farm. We'll have to see. And then tonight we'll enjoy trifles and sing happy birthday to him. And you guys can hear how delicious they are and hopefully you'll want to try it yourself. <laughs> A garden in the summer, fishing in the creek, washed in the river where the water gets deep, waking with the sunrise, breathing in the air. Yeah, that's the life and I'm a head back there. I like friendly country people. Hey, happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you so much. I have a surprise I made you in there. Oh, made me? I, want, I wanted a kiss for my birthday. Ooh, fuck her up. <laughs> what did you make? Trifles. Wait, you're so close. There you go. Trifles from yesterday. Trifles or truffles? It's trifles. Really? Mm -hmm. My dad in New Zealand, they called them truffles. No, truffles are like the little chocolate bonbon things. Oh, well, I'll eat those too. <laughs> <laughs> I better go to the store because I don't know how to make just, those. <laughs> well, trifles, I'm excited. That's awesome. Yeah. Those are my favorite. So, cool. What do you, you just came to see on? Yeah, and I wanted to show everybody the farm. You want to go for a ride on the four wheeler with us? Blake cleaned up my tax shed for me for my birthday, and it looks awesome. Come show us. All right, let's do it. Isn't he handsome? <laughs> He's embarrassed. Friendly country people with a smile. They talk real soft and work real hard. They grow their own out in the yard. A piece of ground, a little town, an old church steeple. I like friendly cars. What an awesome people. present. And my son, older son, Bryson, helped put a, a roof on the shed. I have some video of that. I don't know if you want to throw it in there, but he did that. And Blake cleaned this. Come check it out. It looks a lot better. Need to shovel off the porch now and yeah, clean it. But besides that, it looks tons. He worked inside. Too. Oh, wow. Whoops. I didn't throw that hammer at him, guys. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, that's weird. The light's out. Let me go turn on the breaker. You'll see it a lot better. Okay. I can see pretty good. Really? Yeah. It's not bad that's, at all. That's true. It looks so good in here. He really cleaned it up, so. Anyway, so my kids have served me. Casey says she's giving me a foot rub. Lucky. And, uh, and then I get to go have trifles. I'm so excited. Yep. I'll even go treat you to dinner if you want to go. Awesome. <laughs> the cows are out because we just irrigated. And so I pulled them off the field. And so some people may wonder why they're just wandering out here, but it's because I don't want them down in the field. We'll let it dry out for a few days. Okay, well, I'm gonna take Alan to dinner and I'll come back with you guys just a little bit later and share with you the trifles. We'll see what Alan thinks of me making them. I know he loved them when my friend made them, but we'll see what he thinks of me making them. So stay tuned. Go. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Alan. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Woo! Pretend to blow candles because I couldn't find any. <laughs> I told her my dentures might fall out if I blow. So. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. God bless. All right, I'll try this.
I can't wait till I turn 52 now. <laughs> That's awesome.